Good day to you. Good evening. It's weekend. Not weekend. Well, it's Friday. It's not weekend. It's not my weekend. What are we doing this weekend? Yeah. Nothing. We haven't got anything planned right All right. Now, End we? of vlog. See you next week. Go oh, watching cheap seats. Not all weekend. You might watch them all weekend. <laughs> Your weekly update on um, beverages for um, from local establishments. Uh, we got a mini keg from Love Lane. That should definitely last us the weekend. Uh, but it did come with a free can of the sequel, Baltic Hairs version two. We've not we we've not had a Love Lane mini keg since lockdown, but we did have the Higson's beard. I think they also brew. Uh, but this was £35 for the uh, Baltic Hairs that can and these really nice glasses which I quite like. Uh, yeah, not much else planned so far for the weekend. We'll probably try and get out for a walk on Sunday if the weather is clement. Um, uh, tomorrow I think I'm going to try and do housework. What you need doing. Mainly hoovering because of the carpets are all dusty. I'm noticing that on the vlogs. <laughs> Amongst other things, but I don't know, it's mine now. We're so watching It's Chapter morning. 2 tonight. Are you enjoying It Chapter yeah. 2, Gemma? Um, no. <laughs> it's not scary. <laughs> the first chapter was terrible, this is even worse. I enjoyed the first one, looks like an Oscar winning yeah. film compared to this. Yeah, it's trash. Saturday, it's cleaning day. Uh, starting the day of cleaning by cleaning up cats. We have herbal problems. Uh, anyway, so that's one thing to do. I'm also going to vacuum the stairs and possibly vacuum my bedroom floor a bit. And just clean stuff up in general. So I won't be vlogging any of this because it's not very interesting. Um, we are going to do something different tomorrow. Gemma, last minute. That's her last minute. Gemma last night booked for us to go and visit a place near Delamere Forest that has shire horses and stuff. So that should be a nice day. So we'll we'll, we'll do more vlogging tomorrow, I think, than today. Because today is going to be a mainly tied into... Um, have I got everything I need to clean up? Who knows? <laughs> I feel like I, f I wanted to come down specifically to get something which I had now forgotten. Here are the culprits. Actually, I don't think this one's the culprit. I think that one's the culprit. Because I think that one, it, that one's food. And that one's food. And then threw up a herbal. I told you there wouldn't be much video today. Uh, I spent like two hours moving the stairs, cleaning the cat's room, cleaning some stuff and the bedroom. And that's it. And now I'm walking around the house aimlessly. I'm 3D printing, but I'm making. Rimmers like me from Red Dwarf. For all my hoovering, it doesn't look any cleaner than it did before I did it. Oh, by the way, new art. Hang go. new art. Not new art. New art is Boris, not new art is Karana. Both of these are by our artist friend Wendy Yulton. Uh, and they need to be hung on my wall at some point. Unfortunately, we're starting to run out of wall space. Unless we just bunch them all together. What have you got here? I have got a marrow. That is a big marrow. It was one of my work colleagues grew it in lockdown. All right. So you're going to make spicy marrow soup with it. I am. Healthy space, spicy. Be careful with that knife, you. I am. Don't worry. You just don't look like you're being careful with it. Yeah. But yeah. There's a lot of marrow protecting me. <laughs> Skin and all. Yeah, because you'd eat the courgette skin, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, true. You'd eat courgette skin. That is a massive marrow, isn't it? Yeah, she's done well, hasn't she? Mm. You, have you, uh, you mean, you know, your friend's done well? I said she's done well. I thought well. you meant the marrow. I thought you, you decided the marrow was it's female. A girl. It is, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maureen the marrow. Yeah. Naughty pizza. They look good. Ooh, the cookies are the best, though, aren't they? It's all that hot as well. Good. I can go with my fridge. Alright, we're not having that tonight. <laughs>
We're having a watch of Unsolved Mysteries, the new Netflix season. Although we never watched any of the original ones when they were on normal TV. And also, this is the Love Lane beer that we, we bought this week. It's nice. Oh, and it's cloudy because it's not filtered. It's Sunday, and as promised, we're going somewhere new. We have to keep one Shire horse apart from other people because we're at the Court Brook Shire Horse Centre. This is a, a book online, uh, you booked online in the week, didn't you? So we're going to go and check this one out now. We're in. Lots of things to do here. There's lots of different walks you can do, and um, obviously shy horses, but they've got foals as well, this and lots of other animals that you can see. Why we've come? Because there's big long walking trails. Yeah. And they just told us that our ticket as well over the whole month. Yeah. Well. So yeah, we'll put a link in the description. You can book online. Come down here, and as Gemma said, yeah, you get the month. We can make our peacock down there. Oh yeah. Chilling. Should we go for a little walk around then? Yeah. Welcome to the home of Court Brookshire Champions. And yeah, they did say there's chickens running around everywhere. <laughs> they got uh, red squirrels, Scottish wildcats, pole cats, red deer, owls, owls this little bird. Canary. Very nice. So we'll familiarise ourselves with the map and maybe pick out a walk to do. Chicken. Chicken. It'd be nice to do something different for, for today. Yeah. We're trying to think of maybe doing this uh, this sort of thing a bit more often and visiting other places. I've probably been locked down for so long. It's nice to find places to get out and find new places yeah, to get out. Yeah, support places we wouldn't normally go to as well. For no other reason than we've just never investigated them. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's your favourite, hon. Look at these guys. Hello. 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 He's massive. <laughs> you smell of pig. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. We couldn't pick a nicer day for it, could we? It's lovely today. Oh look, you can adopt a horse as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That that floor that floor has my energy levels. £25 to adopt a shy fall or Shetland pony and £50 to adopt a horse. You don't get to keep it. You don't get to take it home. <laughs> Hello. Look at this guy. Hello. Beautiful. Gemma's a big fan of horses, aren't you? Huge. Hello. Mm. She's got fab hair, hasn't she? Emma just said this is Rupert, we think. This is the newest one. The names are on the fences. So it's handy. And Rupert's nursing. From mum. Well, not from dad, that'd be really weird. So, how old's Rupert? About three weeks. Three weeks old. Lovely. Rupert's lucky lad is his full name. Sired to Levitt and Leonardo oh, yeah. and caught yeah, Rupert Charlie's he's Angel. Alright. Yeah, oh, really good to put all the information about yeah. them as well. You look so gangly. These massive knock knees. <laughs> oh, you wonder how like he's only two weeks old, how you fit it in here. Mm hmm He still looks like he's not sure about his legs. I mean, the size of them, his legs are as long as mine. 
and I'm struggling at 40 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's adorable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's the size of him. Can't get over the size of him. It's brutally interrupted by a horse. You broke quick. Yeah. An itch. A little curly tail. <laughs> now are you coming to say hello? No. No, let's stop. If you nibble at me, if you nibble at me. So leggy. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not filmed for much longer. Yeah, we're just looking at Big Al. Big Al was the one that was lying here. Yeah. He was born on the 5th of April. He's over there now with Mum. Heading outside, we've got more horses. We've got another youngster. Find some information. Lady Fiona. Lady Fiona, Courtbrook Edward, Wagon. There's quite well, a few in this field. She's the one who's inside. Oh, I see. So they must, obviously so they rotate be, them, maybe. This must be Lady Fiona and Edward. Another daft leg, leggy. You're gonna you're gonna electrocute your nose if you carry sniff, carry on sniffing. Oh, the afterlife. Well, yeah, I did the hard way. When I was young, I, I grabbed one of the electric fences when I was walking through a field. We're gonna head out and straight and do the re, 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 reportedly one-hour-long trail. We got three more falls over there. And mum's. Well, miles away from us, so we can't say hello. <laughs> Isn't it nice here with the rolling hills? Mm -hmm. Cheshire countryside. This place is near Tarpley. This is a bit south of Delamere Forest where I often go cycling. I well, often went cycling last year. We're over by the uh, red deer now, you can see one of them there just under that tree sheltering. And some up on the hillside behind as well. Doing the right thing, staying in the shed, unlike us walking through the middle of a field. Even more horses. And there's a little Shetland pony down there as well. Fortunately, we did bring water with us. They do have a shop and a cafe here, so we could get refreshments from the. We got some with us. We might check out the cafe anyway, you never know. Couple more here. Is there an itch on the electric fence? Yeah, uh, kind of looks like he's, on, he's only a year and a half old, yeah, and he's 18 yeah. months old. Uh, there's information here about you can become a member, as you can in a lot of these collections, so it's £60 for both of us if we decided we wanted to be members. And they actually, that's quite nice, they give you a members only Facebook page. Oh yeah, I think it all so like extra it, exclusive information. And 10% discount as well on the shop and cafe. Yeah. When you become a member today you get your ticket off. That's good. So you pay £10 each for those. Yeah. It's like, it's not huge as far as like, obviously it's not zoological collection levels but there's lots of nice places to walk and it's really quiet. Yeah. There's lots of space, which at this point is really useful. There's a couple of spots in the zoo last week were a bit busy. So to come here and it being like we've seen like four people. Yeah, the paths are like nice and wide as well as you need to move. Yeah. And there's like little cut so you can go that way. Yeah, explore in the woods. <laughs> It's very nice. Look at these trees. Big no, wiggly. Tree. We're cutting off the red route, the long route. We're going to backtrack along the black route because oh, these guys are out here. And early when we came past, it was a bit busy. Oh, there was one family. Yeah, it was a bit busy, as in there was one family here. <laughs> so this time we're going to come down and have a oh, quick sneak peek. Yeah. 
And lots and lots of swallows. There is lots of swallows flying about. They can't land, they've got no legs. Apart from that one can land there. <laughs> Like when they stand with a leg like that. Oh yeah, so slightly like lifted leg. Like. Yeah. It's like a model pose. Oh. Wow. Look at them shoes on as well. That is a full-on emo hairdo. <laughs> You're lovely, aren't you? I'm all tangled in cameras. No, I don't want to startle horses. Hello. Hello, little guy. <laughs> what are you doing? You've not got used to the whole having legs thing yet, have you? No. Just going straight through it. You're going to get trapped. You're gonna get tangled. His back's on it? Oh no, it's not, it's on a bungee. What? I was gonna say he's wrecked. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't, I don't um, think the fences are on because this guy's just eaten the fence. He's eaten the fence, yeah. This one might have just realised that. Oh, he got free, that's what's happened. You seen that's mum? No, mum's he's with mum. Oh, he's with mum, okay. Yeah. yeah, one of the young girls just went running to get one of the keepers. Uh, the, uh, one of the, what do they call horse owners? One of the horse owners. Stable hands, that's the one. But um, in the meantime, the horse got free. Um, I was wondering why there's a lot of people down here. It looks like one of the horses is in the wrong field. Do you want to see the Shetland? Yeah. Gemma's a big fan of Shetland ponies, aren't you? I am. You used to look after them, didn't you? I did. It's a wise one as well, called Pippin. It was a devil. Pippin the devil, Shetland. Yeah, because they have small horses. I oh, think I they're see. as big as Shire horses when they're not. Yeah, I've got to be honest, this one's not exactly well um, fenced in, is he? No, no, he's probably just. He's just wandered through a light like that, that one as though it's just gone under the fence. Just like, no, nope, I'm going for a wander. No, a while. I kind of get the feeling the horses are just sort of. They just suggest that the horses should be in these fields and they just do what they want. You can just go wherever your friends are, can't you? Yeah, and you're kind of looking at me like going, I don't like you. Yeah, you're a devil horse. You're really are. Oh. I can see mischief in your eyes. Complete and utter mischief in your eyes. Very nice here. Yeah, this is where I suggested that maybe the, um, the fields aren't quite so well defined for the young horses, they're just doing what they want. What are you doing? <laughs> Heading back up the hill now, back to our original path. Back past these guys. Or gals. Or gals. It has cemented my opinion that horses are a bit stupid. <laughs> Depends on the horse. Some of them are clever than others. I'm going to say uh, young foals that are shy horses or Clydesdales, probably not the brightest. No. <laughs> they kind of remind me of um, Great Danes. Yeah. They're all like they're all leggy and a bit stupid. Beautiful. It's beautiful, yeah. They do have good, like, wind hair, don't they? Yeah. I nearly walked into the fence after saying you're you lot of daft for walking into them. Do you have a nice Sunday afternoon snooze? Yeah. She's muddy. <laughs> Sorry, did we catch you, catch you napping? Yeah, 
So this is the one that was caught up in the fence earlier and is now just fine with mum and relaxing in a field having a, a, a nap. <laughs> back on the red route. We're heading back towards the uh, start now. Yeah. Um, there are more animals, other species at the end of this route so that should be nice to see as well. And we're also going to try and find out the names of those two horses. The, uh, the fall that was stuck in the fence and mum. That's what we'll call them. The, the, the <laughs> fall that was stuck in the fence. The fall. And mum. That sounds like a film, a really bad Netflix film. <laughs> the fall that was stuck in the fence. Anna is friendly and likes a fuss, however she may knit you or try to steal your scarf. I could have done with that sign over there where she was. <laughs> she didn't try to nip us. And the gaga is the stupid baby. <laughs> stupid. The fall that was stuck in the fence. Yeah. Yeah, Anna's got a blog as well if you fancy keeping in touch with her. But but obviously if you come and you've got a scarf on, she might have that. I was just saying to Gemma, if she stole my scarf, she could probably keep it. One, because she's she, she deserves a scarf, and two, because she's massive. I'm not going to back off. <laughs> anyway, let's continue the walk. Our favourite advice on the uh, instructions and the rules of the farm is uh, when a horse comes close, watch out that it doesn't stand on you. That's good advice. They're big horses. Oh, the we have an enclosure here. Dip them your ankles. Yeah, Shetland ponies. <laughs> See, let me shoot your laces. I think you've got an agenda against Shetland ponies, you. <laughs> You're attacked by them many times. <laughs> so we've got a couple of uh, small enclosures here. Let's have a look. See what we've got. Being attacked by bugs. Ah, it's red squirrels. Oh, apparently they've got babies. Yeah, he's like saying there was there was squirrel kits. Is it squirrel kits? Yeah. Squirrel kits. Squirrel cubs. Squirrel falls here would probably be appropriate, wouldn't it? Got quite a nice run, haven't they? They've got yeah. multiple uh, connected enclosures. Can't actually see any squirrels at the minute. Probably not babies. Might be inside. Yeah. They? They said they're quite new to keeping red squirrels. Yeah, red squirrels are the native squirrel in the UK and uh, under threat because of squirrel pox. So, small collections like this keep a captive stock should they need to be repopulated in the wild. We have um, Formby Beach isn't too far from us, and that's got a lot of a lot of red squirrels in in the wild, but. It's been really busy because lockdown ending, so we're not really going to go there just yet, but maybe one day we could go there. We used to go there quite a lot in the past, didn't we? Yeah. Good dog, won't we? Yeah. Things get on the beach. Yes. <laughs> Massive sand dunes. We do need to backtrack and see if we can find the uh, Scottish Wildcats because they're one of our favourites. They're probably one of my uh, favourite, absolute favourite native species in the UK because yeah, it's a cat. We found a rabbit, or is it a her? They could listen to the, the running water of the little stream all day. It's nice. <laughs> and we have another field here with another horse. Uh -huh. You can walk all the way around this field and there are some owls and Scottish wildcats. This is a red fox enclosure. And you can tell because it smells like fox here. We just checked the indoor section, we couldn't see anything in there. That's a good chance he might be sheltering, sheltering under these. This horse just stood up. <laughs> you're, that's your horse up there for this, this point of the day. <laughs> that's a big one, isn't it? Yeah. He's very handsome. Ah, this is the sire for them all, Leverton Leonardo. This horse will bite. Yep. <laughs> These keep horses reaching away from the fence because he's a feisty stallion. Yep. You've got pole oh, cats yeah. in here. Just pointing that out to Gemma that he is <laughs> curled up down there sleeping. How cute is that though? Very cute. And we have an otter enclosure here as well. Robbie Daisy and Dylan. Robbie Daisy and Dylan. That's a, quite a well planted otter enclosure, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to go and see what the little cafe here's got. We 
bought a ham sandwich, egg mayo, mm -hmm. and a couple of scones with clotted cream and jam. They look good. This is a nice little spot to set out here. You can only eat outside at the minute, but to be honest, on a day like this, we would be anywhere. Mm -hmm. There's a pub over there as well, but I think it's closed. Some time later, and this poor cat is still flat out, but I can see he's blepping. His little tongue stuck out, and he's snoozing. <laughs> And Gemma's looking for otters. Have you seen otters? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can hear the squeaks of otters as well. Hello. They're cute. Some geese? Some Shetland ponies. <laughs> some Shetland ponies. And ducks. And, um, and yeah, some, some duck activity has been occurring. It's, it's duck ravaging season. <laughs> yeah. We'll move away from that, shall we, before we get banned from YouTube. So we're going to check out the only bits we haven't really seen here. Which are these couple of bits of enclosures here, one of which we think might have Scottish wildcats in. And then we're going to do a reverse round the loop of the whole walk again. Mander and ducks apparently. Yeah, we like nuts hatches, mm -hmm. don't we? Chaffinches, wrens, mallards, coots, cormorants. Badgers. And badgers. Mushroom, mushroom. So if you really like badgers, you can collect the set. We went years trying to find a badger, to try to see one. Yeah. And then we that just went for a drive in Delamere Forest one day and it just wanted to walk across the road Didn't in front of us. Do, we went to the moth night at Delamere Forest that time. It yeah, that was, it was bats. Bats and moths, remember because we had moth traps? Yeah, and basically when we were driving home from that a badger just crossed the road in front of us. We've seen him a few times since, but we haven't for like many years. We're not going to see him today because it's daytime, but we might be able to see the set. Now this would be the Scottish wildcat enclosure. I thought they've only got one, it's just called Catriona. I feel like our chances of seeing one of, well her, are very slim because it's daytime. It'll be difficult to see this on camera, but we think the cat's in the middle. In that den there in the hole, you can just see stripes that look like Scottish tabby wildcat tabby. stripes, yeah, like tabby. tabby. Another one that's a bit of a pain to spot, but there's the barn hole. It's too sunny for the barn hole. Yeah, who can blame him? Yeah, like dawn and dusk, don't you? Mm hmm. Yeah. This fella's right up near the fence. We won't be petting this guy because he does bite. Oh, this one's impossible to spot, but you'll have to bear with you'll have to um, trust us that the fox is here in the corner. Yeah, but you can't see him on the camera, you might be able to see an ear. You can just see ears because they're all curled up. Yeah. Again, nocturnal animals, sir. Yep. More wood carvings, we got baby deer. We found a fox, a wooden fox. We found a real fox earlier as well. Just seen the stag come running down the hill at the red deer. There we go. Little hard to show you properly at this zoom. Hello, troublemaker. <laughs> like a little girl in the pram. There's a horse under the tree over there. In the Shire Horse place. I shouldn't really be surprised. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh. is it a weasel or stone? It was something like that, yeah. Something as well. I caught that on camera as well. It has that's black end, I'd say it looked too big. Yeah. I think that might have been a weasel. Those are, those, a weasel are, those are quite rare in the UK. It's not something you see every day, so there you go. Wow, you caught it on camera yeah. too. Oh, I wasn't recording. Like You're not daft, are you? Standing in the shade of the tree. Hello. Oh, oh the flies are irritating you. You've got a nice long tail as well. Mmm. You're very pretty. Your fence is there, I think you can hear. Yeah. Actually, I think it was a hover fence. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, Gail, sorry. I haven't looked. Must have instantly stuck my hand up your nose then, didn't I? that big nasty horse fly on your face. Oh yeah. <laughs> I 
I think yeah. she, yeah, she just saw the uh, the owners of the place and, and did, a, did a nay and headed off. <laughs> You're very excited to see them, aren't you? Gemma's just done some looking online and the, uh, the animal we saw running across the path was a stoat. Now we have seen them before, but that was cool. You don't. Yeah. See, you certainly don't see them very often. Like courts, I don't know, it's yeah. very often. You tend to see them running across the road. <laughs> <laughs> a few other horses are getting excited now. You just the other one in the field. Yeah. But you best not to get food about me. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, Please stop. <laughs> and this guy just came, the girls just came to see us as well. Hello. Should film your eyes, not the end of your nose, shouldn't I? You're beautiful. Fab. Did they not bring you any food? No, you I haven't got anything for you to eat. I haven't got anything for you to eat. No, no, no. Put that tongue away. Put that tongue away. <laughs> you daft horse. You daft girl. This one just fell over. <laughs> what is it with us and filming horses and things rolling over on the backs in a minute? I don't know. Got some in the zoo video last week. Hello, mister. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, when they come towards you like that, that's quite unnerving. You're very playful, aren't you? Alright, I've not got anything for you though. I wasn't giving Take it your food. fence isn't on then. I wasn't giving her any food, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, feisty boy. He's fab as well, isn't he? We could hear a lot of bees. And then I just pointed out this. There's like either a bee's nest or a whole swarm of bees on that log there. I think it's a bee's nest. That's a lot of bees. That's fine, let's just carry on walking. Yeah, we'll give them some space. This guy's like, yeah, I, I could take him. I'm not going to show you the full full view because he's suddenly got five legs. So the, the male that came and uh, introduced himself to us, he's called Ben. Caught Brook Ben Lowers. He's only a yearling. Yeah. He was only born last year. <laughs> he's huge as well. Yeah. He's apparently it's a magnificent mover. And he's he's funny. He's, he was certainly the character, I think. He went to his first show in October and he came second. Wow. That's feisty, madam. And her daft son. Scar stealer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this one wants to say hello to us. I like horses very much. Don't trust you. Don't <laughs> trust you. <laughs> now that you know she bites, you're like, I'm not no, touching you. No, that's not she bites. She's a scarf dealer. She might be. She is really nice though, isn't she? She's absolutely gorgeous. Colours on her. Sorry, you're nice too. You know how pretty you are, don't you? Yeah, she's really. Yeah, see. These uh, troublemakers are now having a good relax after. Uh, apparently they were here earlier. You can see all the marks on the ground. So the owners had to come down and put them back in. There we go, a better view of the stag. And if I slowly pan over here. And get some of the ladies out. Everywhere we go, the falls are just flopping onto the ground. 
and here's all the awards that they've won for the horses. Or well, some of them at least. Drake's looking <laughs> very, very cute. Let's yeah. see the pig, o pig o's off before we leave. Mum's back. over here. Did you enjoy that hunt? I did, it was really good. Yeah, it was good. Definitely worth a visit. I enjoyed saying hello to horses. It's Monday. Uh, we didn't close off the vlog last night, so I'm going to do it now. By making a lot of noise with <laughs> baking trays. Um, we had a really good day yesterday. It was really nice to get some fresh air and exercise. It was really good fun. Uh, we came home, we, um, Gemma cooked a really nice meal actually. She cooked salmon steaks and vegetables and new potatoes. Very healthy. And we finished the last of that keg of beer that we bought. It works out quite well, that keg, because I kind of limited myself to like three pints of a weekend at night. Uh, and that keg is about nine pints. So Gemma has half and I have half. And that's not, not too bad at all. So while it does look on the face of it like a lot of beer, uh, it, sp it spreads quite far, you know, we use it over the course of a couple of nights. I'm uh, just prepping some food. So yeah, that was nice, enjoyed that. Um, last thing for today is I'm going to give this soup a try that Gemma made for me. Uh, this is the one that she made with the big courgette marrow thing. So I've prepped myself for all of it, but uh, yeah, she yet blended it after she cooked it. And as a result, it's nice and thick. So I'm going to warm this up and give it a try. It smells fab. Right, certainly uh, Gemma did a better job of her soup than I did of my casserole. Although I did end up eating most of that casserole over the course of like three days. But this, this looks good. Someone doesn't realise the food that I'm having doesn't contain any meat. What? What do you want? You want some food? Now I know full well that you had breakfast this morning. Cats who yell. Mm. That is really tasty. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to enjoy my suit. I'll see you next week when we are going back to Chester Zoo.